Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to just briefly go over this new node that they announced. I believe it was like two or three days ago too. I'm, I'm a little late to the party. Uh, which is the Crimson Dance Keystone, which if you look at exactly where it is, it's by uh, Hematophagy or whatever this node is called. It's the Pure Physical Leech node. Um, this is basically directly under the Duelist. I can actually log in just to show you guys really fast to show you specifically where it is. The keystone is noted directly here under the duelist. I believe it's going to be placed right here, uh, side by side the, I don't know, hematophagy, hem whatever this is called. It's basically the pure physical leech node. So I wanted to go ahead and just kind of, you know, talk about this node a little bit and kind of how I feel about it because I'm a little disappointed personally. Um, I am happy to see that Grinding Gear Games is taking feedback from the players and, you know, they are, they are working on addressing their new changes because I feel they've kind of... You know, they're, they're being a bit extreme with a lot of the changes in beta, whereas, you know, they are allowed to because it is a beta. Um, they have been doing extreme changes to pretty much all sources of damage over time, including but not limited to, well, usually targeting Ignite, uh, Poison, and the new Bleed mechanic. So, essentially, the Bleed mechanic previously before this node, and remember, we can't actually use this node yet. This would be for the 3.0 expansion, not for the beta. Uh, bleed pretty much was great to level with. Uh, they, they buffed one of the uniques, I think it's called Headsman Axe. They gave it a pretty good damage, um, uh, a, pretty big, a pretty big damage buff. But you can actually like level with Bleed all throughout the game. You can kill the Act bosses with Bleed. It's no problem. The problem occurs when you try to get to maps and you try to scale your character for the new boss life and just in general, the monsters. So they decided that they would now allow players to spec completely into bleed with, the, with this specific keystone. The problem with this keystone is one, it's kind of in a weird spot, but it's not too bad because, I mean, to be fair, bleed is kind of centered around the gladiator area, you know, well, sorry, duelist area. Uh, there are two bleed clusters around there. Uh, so it's in, an, it's in an okay spot. It's kind of annoying though because most people don't go down there. So the only problem I have with this is the fact of one, I still don't think that this is actually strong enough for bleed to actually properly scale. I still think you would kind of need to go crit with this and if you go crit, you're now forced into getting two of the nodes, uh, which is Perfect Agony and Crimson Dance, assuming you can use both of them and not gimp your build so much because you've got reduced damage with bleed and then you've got reduced hit damage and that kind of just makes it a little complicated. But we're not here to talk about the viability of bleed, we're here to talk about my thoughts on it and you know what you guys think about it. I just feel that with the beta, Grinding Gear Games has kind of been really, really, really rushing their content and I'm not really happy about that. I mean, I realize that nobody wants this to happen, but I would feel a lot more comfortable if they said like, hey guys, Atlas of Worlds is being delayed for another two, or not Atlas of Worlds, sorry. Um, uh, I don't even remember what this expansion is. Fall of Oriath is being delayed for another two weeks while we, you know, work on some balance changes because I just feel like a lot of content is being rushed. And for people who have been playing the beta, I'm sure you guys have realized that as well. Now that, that to be said, it doesn't mean everything is bad. There's a lot of good things coming out of it, like the labyrinth changes. You know, overall, they're trying to change the strand meta. There have been some adjustments to CI, although it's been pretty much gutted. But, you know, you can still play it with a lot uh, a lot of different builds. But still, you know, I really hope to see something more creative come out of Crimson Dance. Because kind of what the POE Reddit was saying, and just a bunch of other people, is this is kind of just like a shitty version of Bleed. Now, whether or not that... Or sorry, of Poison. Whether or not that's true or not, it seems to be true. Um, we won't really know until we test it. But Bleed... Stacks only eight times, and the initial hit is reduced by, you know, 50% less damage with bleed. Um, whereas poison can stack as many times as you want. So, that's kind of something interesting to think about. Anyway, though, I just wanted to keep you guys a little updated. Let me know what you guys think about this node, Crimson Dance. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. So, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. I will be posting some 3.0 starter guides. Uh, I don't know exactly when I'm going to go ahead and post them. I can give you an idea of what they're going to be. I know one of them is going to be the RF Juggernaut, sorry, RF Berserker that we're playing right now on the stream. And another one should be a Baron Summon Raging Spirits build. But I haven't actually taken a look at it. And it's probably going to be very similar to the Uber Elite, if you guys are familiar with him. Uh, I don't know what my third build is going to be. 
I was thinking totems, but I really don't want to play totems. But I found a really interesting champion totem build, and I think it's pretty good. And by interesting, I mean Ancestral Warchief totem. Anyway, that's pretty much about it, though. <laughs> Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.